Welcome to the Monday, June 17th meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. At this point, we'll let committee members and staff introduce themselves. Benjamin Cheney, member. William Russell, member. Meredith Crandall, staff. Stephen Everett, member. Smarsky, member. And Rebecca, uh, alternate member. Okay, at this point, we'll let Meredith review the remote meeting procedures and process. Hi. I need to adjust, just adjust where that web link is. Um, All right, so um, for anyone who is viewing tonight's design review committee meeting via Orca Media, you can participate in the meeting um, through the Zoom platform using either video or telephone access options. Um, if you want to join the me meeting with the full video options, please type this link into your web browser. Um, I'll get a notification that you want to join the meeting and let you in. Alternatively, you can dial in using any telephone, using this phone number, and then um, when prompted, put in this meeting ID. Again, I will get a notification that you want to get into the meeting um, and be able to let you in. If anyone is trying to access the meeting and is having problems, please email me at m crandall at montpelier-vt.org. Um, please note that if you get on um, via Zoom, turning your video on is optional. Um, and for everyone attending, please keep your microphone on mute when you're not speaking. This will help reduce background noise. Um, please remember that the Zoom chat function should only be used for troubleshooting or logistics questions. Um, because right now the only person we have on remotely um, is Rebecca. I'm going to skip a bunch of the details here. Um, in the event the public is unable to access this meeting, it will need to be continued to a time and place certain. I'll now hand the meeting back over to the chair. At this point, do we hear a motion to approve the agenda? I'll oh. move to approve the agenda. This is oh. Martha. All second. This is Ben. All in favor of the agenda, speak your names. William. Ben. Stephen. I'm assuming Rebecca. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Rebecca, feel free, unless you have a bunch of background noise there in your apartment, feel free to just stay unmuted since we don't have anybody else on remotely. And that way you don't have to go back and forth. Okay. Thank you. At this point, we can go to the first application for 170 Main Street, Montpelier, Roxbury Public Schools. And... Introduce yourself. Andrew LaRosa, Director of Facilities for the School District. And describe your application for us. Uh, this is for the Main Street Middle School. We are going to be replacing a deteriorating um, railroad tie wall with a ready rock uh, concrete wall. It's about 18 inches tall. We are on the back side of the cafeteria. We have a little seating area that we've been using since COVID. We're going to be uh, putting a little bit of drainage underneath there, some stone and some um, uh, tile work, loose tile in that seating area and uh, putting a little small stairway up to that area and uh, uh, replacing a uh, concrete pad outside the kitchen entrance door. Replacing the concrete pad with what? Uh, repl the con oh, right now, there was a concrete pad, but it heaved, so it's just stone. So we're putting a concrete pad back in, but, but with a full frost, with a frost wall, so it doesn't move. So is that going to make any additional paved areas? No, no, it's just replaced with something that's been that deteriorated and was taken out many, many years ago. Looks like he gets a fair amount of use back there. 
Yeah, I can't see why you want to replace these walls. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have any comments, questions, or suggestions? Oh, well, it's really straightforward. It is. It looks pretty nicely done. I can go through. There's a set of criteria mm -hmm. that I'll just read through that applies to the application. This is for all projects. Air exterior design and materials number three. Proposed landscaping shall be compatible with the neighborhood and the site on which the project is located, acceptable. And it looks like that is the, okay. Okay. I need to do a different color for you. <laughs> no, it's okay. The number 16, landscaping, screening, and site furnishings. Does the landscaping obscure or undermine key architectural patterns or elements on historic buildings? And walls and fences shall be compatible with the site and the building and scale traditional materials and design that reflects the period of the building and or is compatible with the surrounding context. Acceptable. And I believe those are the only two that apply. All in favor of the application, speak your names. Ben. William. This is Martha. I say yes. Stephen says yes. Rebecca says yes. Application is approved. Five in favor. Thank you very much. Uh, and here, I'll have you sign the form, even though there's no, no changes or recommendations or anything. Mm -hmm. And I'll have you sign here right below my name, right on that lower block there. Okay. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Uh, quick question. Um, how long are these, not this project, but this process, uh, how long are these permits good for? We're thinking about the high school three acre. Yep. So under the recent amendments, you have two years to commence the project. Once you commence, you have two years to complete. Okay. So zoning zoning permits are the window is much bigger than it used to be. Yep. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. And has everyone had a chance to look at the meetings from June the 3rd? Yeah, and I will make a motion to accept them the way they are written. I'll second that. All in favor of the minutes, speak your names. Ben. William. Martha. Stephen. Rebecca. Minutes are approved. Does anyone have anything else at this point? If not, do I hear a motion to adjourn? So moved. I'll second that. All in favor of adjournment, speak your names. Ben. William. Martha. Stephen. Rebecca. I think we just set a new record. Thank you, everybody. Well, when they come in, that that's simple. <laughs> yeah. So we've got probably at least two for July first. If we may start adding in more applications because the deadline for that isn't until next Monday. Um, but it looks like we have at least two. Neither of them look particularly complicated, but but we'll be here. You will be here. We'll be here. We need two more just like this one. Oh, I know. This is. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> um, all right. Thank you, Rebecca.